Kowasi Bafunga has been selling on the streets since he was a boy, and he has ridden the city's ups and downs in recent years. Bafunga has carved out a market all his own, with a very special brand. Everything here, made by hand, from the stuff others throw away. He makes these lamps with pliers and cans and jars he finds in the trash. A few hours of tinkering, and Bafunga can bring a little light to a place that can get very dark. I am helping people because we have an electricity shortage in the country. I sell it for 1500 maximum. 1250 is the minimum when people beg me. Some people buy it because of the artisan value, some because there's a lack of electricity. That's almost $3 a lamp. Some are battery operated. Others are fueled by paraffin. Most of all, they're safe to use inside. This lamp is a simple solution to an everyday problem. In a country where just over 10% of people have access to electricity, according to figures by the World Bank, and even if households do have power, the supply is very unstable. Bafunga says he earns enough to support his family. In this country, that's a major achievement. He was hoping to help others do the same. This is a very good invention. I asked some people to join me so that I can train them. I showed them and they said, no, this work is too hard. So they ran away and never came back to learn. I don't have any competition because my prices are very low and my products are good. And every time I make some, someone will always buy it. The back streets of Bangui may seem like an unlikely place to find an inventor, but Bafunga is proof that whatever the challenge is, a big idea and a little ingenuity can really shine. The advice I have to give to my countrymen is to find something for your hands to do. The worst thing is to turn to crime to support your family. So when I think I cannot steal, I have to make something that will give my daily bread. I use my hands. That's when I started producing these lamps. Voldi Karosa, Bangi, Central African Republic.